Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add Spin Tires mod to your Mudrunner game. Now basically what this does is it allows you to do a bunch of really cool things like disabling the FPS limit, it allows you to change your winch distance, it allows you to have access to dev tools, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, I've been getting a bunch of comments and even like emails and stuff like that, um, asking how to add this to the game because a lot of people want to know how to get the dev tools. Well it's really really easy to do and I'm going to show you guys actually how all of this works um, in this short little tutorial so you guys can uh, can get up and running really really quick. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description box below which takes you to spintires.nl which has all the links you need in order to download um, Spin Tires mod. Now basically what this is, is you just come here to the link in the description, scroll down, and you can see it'll give you a little bit of a rundown of what everything does, and then down here it will have little um, download buttons to where you can actually download Spin Tires mod. And you can download different versions, but I highly recommend getting whichever the latest version is at the time based on when you watch this video. Currently as this video is being made, the latest version is 1.6.6, so that's the version that we're going to be going with, so just click the download button, wait for everything to download, and then run the um, .exe file and then we'll move on to the next step. Now, once you've downloaded everything and run the .exe file, you'll get a little window that looks like this on the screen. Now, after that window pops up, all you have to do is click on Mod Settings, and then see where it says Spin Tires Mudrunner Directory. You find your directory that has your Mudrunner um, exe in it, and then you click Install, and then once that's all done, you click Apply and then OK, and then everything is installed and you're good to go. You can also launch the game from right here if you so desire, but you can still launch it the normal way if you want, and once that's all all done then your basically spin tires mod as a whole is installed um, into your game of mud runner and you want to load up the game and once you load up the game you'll see something like this now once you get into the game you'll go to the pause menu and you'll have options like this so you go to settings and then now you have a couple different things right here but you have advanced options now if you click on advanced options this is everything that you get in mud runner mod now you've got disable game files check light sync and multiplayer don't turn off headlight uh, on on changing truck um, game day duration which that isn't on right now because I have the game set to freeze time um, I also have disable suspension damage on um, I have don't turn diff lock on when leaving auto gearbox mode. That's like something that you can do if you want. Um, enable con uh, controlled constraints, which that I'm not totally sure what it does. I think I kind of know what it does, but at the same time, I don't want to actually like give you guys the wrong idea about what it does. So I've left it alone. Um, hide controller hints, which are hide control hints. Um, Assets names in uppercase, disable FPS limit in windowed mode, which is, I mean, that might be there for people that, if you play in windowed mode, you might want to mess around with that. Um, allow cheats, battery powered winch, winch range, um, you can adjust that if you want. Um, you can have it all the way up to 40 meters if you so desire. Um, you can all, always show dev tools, you can turn that on or off. Um, you can always allow spawn locators as well, which I don't generally do because if a map doesn't have spawn locators, it can make things a little freaky um, and it can kind of make the game not understand what it's doing, so I recommend leaving that off. Um, but if you turn the dev tools on, for example, you'll see them come up right here, and you can spawn any new vehicle whenever you want. That includes in multiplayer. Um, you can reload uh, the XML file, update it, uh, refill, um, which basically repairs and refills your truck immediately, or you can uh, change between night and day, and make it a garage wherever you want, um, and info is just kind of like, that's there for if you're kind of just geeky about the way the truck is, uh, is performing, so that's basically a total rundown of how to install and use Mudrunner mod in, um, in Spin Tires Mudrunner, and basically what it is, is it's a modern equivalent, when I say modern equivalent, I mean like a current equivalent equivalent of Spin Tires Plus. It's basically to Mudrunner what Spin Tires Plus was to the original Spin Tires. Now, wow, we just set off and we... Oh, what? All right. <laughs> and so, in order to finish off, I mean, what better way to finish off than to climb a hill in a rock bouncer? But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this quick little tutorial on Spin Tires Mod in Spin Tires Mudrunner, or sorry, Mudrunner Mod in Spin Tires Mod, Mudrunner Mod. It basically, they, they, they mean the same thing. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video and this little tutorial, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if this worked for you, make sure you let me know. And I will also be in the comment section below to hopefully answer any of your questions or, um, or issues with this tutorial. So hope to see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later. And make sure you subscribe for more.